Welcome to another PLC Hero tutorial. My name is Jim Joris and in this session you will learn how to find the MAC address and how to assign an IP address to your processor. Under the LCD screen of your 1100 processor, push the escape key and scroll down to advanced set. Click OK and scroll down to internet configure. Click OK. And you can see that the MAC address for this processor is 000F7301685952. To assign the IP address, you will have to go online and configure the IP address. Open up RS Links Classic, go to RS Who, and in way of review, we need to configure a driver for RS-232. We go to Configure Driver, left click, and under Available Driver Types, scroll down to RS-232, Add New. In this case, I'm going to change it to RS-232 for a name. Click OK. And I know my USB port is COM5. Click on COM5. Come down here to Auto Config. And it says Auto Configuration Successful. Click OK. We see that it's running. The status is running. And there's no faults, no errors here. So we're good to go. So let's close this out. And we see that our drivers are on the left. And we click on the uh, network or browser, if you will, for uh, RS-232. It becomes animated. And on the right-hand side, we see we have our workstation and we have our uh, PLC on the right. Click on PLC on the right. Left click. And open up. RS Logic Micro Starter. In Micro Starter Lite, go to Comms, System Comms, and we see that we have RS-232 for our driver. Click on the driver, and on the right hand side, we have to select which PLC we want to talk to. Well, since this is a serial port, there's only one node on it, so just left click. And we want to upload what's in the processor so we can see what's going on. Do we want to go online? You click yes. We're in the remote run. This is highlighted green. This is animated, indicating that we have communication established. And here's our program uh, files on the right, our project. So we have the rails are green, so we're online, and uh, we're looking at the processor itself. In order to configure the IP address, go to Channel Configuration, left click, and you see that we have Channel 0 and Channel 1. If we click on Channel 0, this is our RS-232 uh, driver that we just installed. And in channel 1, for our Ethernet connection, we see that the MAC address is what we found earlier by looking at the LCD screen. It's 000F7301-6859. And it's, again, referring to the hardware address of that processor. The IP address, the subnet mask, gateway address, etc., is all grayed out. In order to be able to put a uh, IP address in here, go to boot P and uncheck it. Now you're able to put the IP address in. So how do we find the IP address? We go to Windows Start, left click and type in in the search bar 
CMD, Command Prompt. We'll open up Command Prompt. And where the cursor is, type in IP config. IP C O N F I G forward slash all. Go to Internet Adapter Local Area Connection, and you will see the auto configuration for IPv4. It is 169.254.100.149. We'll write that down and remember that, and we could close this out. 169.254. 100, 149. The IP address that you entered are four octet numbers, each consisting of eight bits. The first three sets is the network address. The fourth is the node or device that's on that network. 149 is the laptop node number. You cannot have two nodes or devices with the same address, so we need to change that. I'm going to put in 145. For the subnet mask, enter 255, 255, 255, and any number between 1 and 254. I'm going to put in 001. And then I'm going to say apply. Warning, loss of communication on other channels will be lost. Well, there's no one else on this network, so I'm going to say apply. And before we close it out and say okay, make sure that you leave this unchecked. If you have this checked, if you lose power to the processor and you power it back up again, you will have to re-enter the IP address again. By leaving it unchecked, it will always automatically save it and come back up with that IP address. So go ahead and click OK. I'm going to close this out. Save changes. If we lose power with boot P unchecked, the IP address is retained and restored on power up. Be sure boot P is unchecked. And there you are. With the IP address assigned to the MicroLogic 1100, in our next session, we will configure the Ethernet drivers for both the Ethernet devices and Ethernet IP. Be sure to join us for this next session.